sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. Okay, you guys, so I'm here in Union Square, New York City, and this is another installment of my dating debacles. When I first moved here, as you guys know, like almost three years ago, I got to New York and I got literally overwhelmed. I had only seen like dudes that I seen on TV. I saw like Senegalese men with perfect white teeth and broad shoulders. I saw Arabic men with green eyes and oh, thick lashes and thick eyebrows. I saw Dominican boys with hair like the kind that I spend a lot of money on. You know, I kind of just buffet styled it. like. I, I was literally excited about every type of boy that I saw. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it. We started dating. He would speak Spanish to me, call me Mommy Chulo and all these other things that I couldn't understand, but he was spicy and it was sexy and he was just hot. You know, I invited him over one night for just a, a nice sensual evening and I knew what to expect. I mean, this guy did not look at me. He looked into my soul. Have you ever felt like somebody was looking so deep into you that they're just inside you? That's how it felt when I was talking to this dude. So, long and short of it, we're at my crib. We're starting to do the do. It's getting sexy. Stop. Now make that motherfucker hammer sound like... He's undressing me, we're touching, we're kissing, we're caressing, everything is perfect. Literally everything is perfect. Until, you know, I, I noticed that I'm touching him and I started to smell something. Stop. Now make that motherfucker hammer sound like Like I smelled something. It smelled like it smelled like fish. Stop. Now make that motherfucker hammer sound like pulls down his pants and I start touching him and I'm touching like extra skin. Now keep in mind, I had never ever seen one of these in my life. My mom had never taught me about this during our sex talks. I was touching foreskin. Very first time, I think I was like 25 years old. First time I'd ever experienced this. So I'm here in um, Union Square with my boy Ivor. He's here visiting from Scotland. Um, let's just get to it. Ivor, are you circumcised? I am not, no. The, blo the blog is about like the first time a girl, let's say me, experiences an uncircumcised piece. Right. And it's like a big deal because there was like extra skin there. What do you do? What am I supposed to do with the extra skin? Work around it. Now, so I'm touching the foreskin and I'm experiencing the smell and I'm just like, yo, what the hell is going on? I mean, this guy was hot, but I didn't expect something like that to be coming from him. So I kind of found a way to weasel out of the act. Um, and I'm just, as soon as he left, I was trying to figure out what the hell just happened to me. I ran to the internet, y'all. I ran to the internet and I realized smegma had just happened to me. Do you know what smegma is? <laughs> Because was some, you pull it down, it was some nasty. Ah, oh, that, my friends, is called smegma. And that's a natural lubricant that's produced between the foreskin and the penis. So when you pull it down, it's like, it, if you don't wash it, it's like a bacteria like stuff. And it has a funny smell that smells like cheese. cheese. <laughs> that, is, that is a problem. But it's like uh, it's like washing under your armpits. You just it's just something it's just something else to worry about. You just you clean it every once in a while. And that's how often are you supposed to clean it? Just say like you do the rest of your body. You just but like how often? Because I clean my armpits like once a day. But then what, every time you go to the shower. Okay. And you you know double double clean when you've had sex. Stop. Now make that motherfucker hammer sound like. Oh, 
Um, what about uncircumcised? Yes, I have. What do you think about it? Good or bad? It's good. It, yeah. You're acting good. like, is it like extra good compared to... It's the same thing. I don't see a difference. Now, you're gay. You've experienced different sorts of penises. Now, we were talking about, you had a kind of a bad experience with an uncircumcised penis. What was it like? It stunk. So, the moral of the story, people, is communication before you start even thinking about an intimate relationship with a person is a key. Just communicate with your partner. Find out their likes. Find out their dislikes. Find out if they wash their ass. Find out if they're circumcised or not. And most importantly, cleanliness. Wash your ass, people. Signing out. Hopefully my next date will be better. Peace. Stop. Now make that motherfucker hammer sound like. Go stupid. Go stupid. Go stupid. I do it. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sexy and I know it.